My first guest is a very funny comedian, actor, a podcaster, author, good buddy of mine. You can see her. She kicks off her Touch Me tour starting in September. Whitney Cummings! <laughs> Did anyone else catch this? Uh, watching Spade try to pretend he knew who Addison Ray was. Yeah. <laughs> She's a TikToker. Yeah. Hi, I nice love you. you. Oh, Whitney, give her another smile. Whoa! That was actually pretty good. That actually uh, that got dicey for a second, and I am <laughs> shocked it ended that well. Frankly, luckily we're both wearing Spanx. <laughs> uh, Do you wear the Manx? <laughs> is there Manx? Yeah. I thought of you the other day because my lover, who is younger than me, still got it. Yeah. Um, by it, I mean money. Uh, <laughs> and he, I did an Instagram story where I was like trying to get my pants on, they didn't fit. And so you could see my bra and my underwear. And he was like, so what are you, what are you doing in Vegas with matching bra and underwear? Are you Whoa. cheating? <laughs> I was like, honey, I'm 38 years old. All my Spanx match all my Spanx. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> how many skanks don't wear Spanx? No, how many <laughs> girls wear, I guess they wear non-matching. Yeah, I don't, my, has anyone ever matched their I've never the bra? seen what a match, kind of, yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen a girl with non-matching and we are like, never mind. <laughs> never mind. You think that slows a guy down? No, not I don't. <laughs> Maybe the days of the week. That, that <laughs> you should probably leave if you see that. You, uh, you're, you're back on tour, which is great. It's called the Touch Me Tour, which feels a little pre-March 2020. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. But Definitely named it in March when I had hoped that the tour would happen. Yeah, but you got a lot of dates coming up, right? I do. I have not, well, stand-up dates. Yeah. Um, and let's be honest, uh, I'm going to many places. I'm going to like 50 cities in the fall. That's good. So. Do you think this, these are going to happen? Don't you feel like when you book I dates, you're scared, like, I get scared, yeah, because uh, <laughs> I just started booking some theaters, and I, like, I did the, I'm doing the Mirage. You just were at the Mirage. We're playing the same venues. I'm glad you told everyone that. Yeah. <laughs> is that good or bad? It is. I did, bad for you, great for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the Mirage. Insult uh, to you, compliment to me. But they can get rowdy. Um, they can get very rowdy. So Vegas, I mean, you must have crazy Vegas touring stories, but I actually love going to Vegas shows and doing them because they've booked it out for so long. These people booked it like six months in advance. They yeah. came in and they're not missing the show. I had a woman <laughs> get so wasted about 35 minutes into the show. She, it was very clear. She was like, well, you know, when you're, yeah. they're moving around and um, she puked. I watched it happen because she was like in the third row. So she got seats like eight months ago. Like she yeah. was ready. She was wearing my merch. Like she was not missing the show yeah. and she puked in her hand. Yeah. She was like, Bleh. Excellent. <laughs> Throws on the ground. Because then there was a. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was like, I Ladylike, love you. yeah. <laughs> Did someone motorboat you, I saw? Oh, OK. So people ask about the touch me toward name. Touching is kind of like a weird thing to think about right now. But I feel like as the pandemic was winding down before, as yeah. I started doing stand up again to like, you know, people in masks, half capacity. What I was noticing is all people wanted to do is have some kind of physical contact because mm. they were so deprived of it, right? Yeah. Um, we used to call this sexual harassment, but now it's just <laughs> called being eager to connect. And <laughs> I also see these couples showing up that it's clear that they've been alone in their home together for nine months and they, they, they built some bargain to keep them together. Mm -hmm. I had this woman halfway through a show that she was like listening super eagerly and finally when I took a sip of water and she had a minute to talk. She went, I promised my husband that he could motorboat you. I love it. You're his whole that. pass. <laughs> Can you imagine if, because I was like, I feel like I'm now part of like a War of the Roses type mm. situation, like what I just saw you do with that interview right here. I felt like I was in one of those weird tense situations. Yeah. <laughs> well, does anyone else get really uncomfortable when that happened? What? When she said he's afraid of the night? Oh. <laughs> Katie and Blake. I know, but 
usually when people date for six weeks, you go, oh, how was your third date? And on this one, they're like, oh, we're married. We're getting married. Yeah. Because they only shoot it over a certain amount of time, and they sure. only spend eight minutes every week. So it's not, you know, but they're getting to know each other. You know what? We're very close, like, for real. Who are? Me and you. Oh, yeah, we are. We're real friends. We only hang out when it's monetized or televised, but I feel like that is... <laughs> that's true. That's a testament to how good a friend we are. We know. So He'll be like, do you want to get dinner tonight? I'm like, for what show? <laughs> and then if, if I don't get a call sheet, I don't show I'll, up. I'll have dinner with you even if it's just for Instagram stories. But I feel like we should play the newlywed game. Oh, I don't... No. I don't, I don't know anything about anybody. Do you know where I'm from, David? Yes. Where? America. <laughs> <laughs> Blake's from Canada. Oh, who did I see you with on, um, you, were you with Paris Hilton? I went to Paris Hilton's birthday party Whoa. recently. Whoa! <laughs> Not too shabby. Whatever, and I spent Whatever. the entire night looking for my purse, which I had misplaced, because you know, I'm such a, like, I walk in and I just get distracted. I put my purse down. I saw a makeup person named James Charles. He's, yeah, you shouldn't know who he is. Good, 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 good. Your, your publicist trained you well. <laughs> he's like a 22-year-old makeup, like, person, right? And he's, like, really famous on Instagram, and I went up to him, and whenever I see a young, this is how I know I'm old. Yeah. Uh, every time I see a young person in Hollywood, I just beeline to them, and I start giving them financial advice they didn't ask for. Yeah. And I'm like, who's your lawyer? Who's stealing from you? And he's like, why is Joan Rivers yelling at me? Um, <laughs> Are no, you I'm our Joan Rivers? What's that? <laughs> no, I'm our Courtney Love. Um, <laughs> so I lose my purse, and then I spend, you're, you, when you're the person in the party that has lost your purse, you ruin the party. You're the one that's like, excuse me. You're like looking at your person's dresses, <laughs> and everyone's like, can we help you? <laughs> Finally, I'm going through, I mean, there's no one wor worth under a billion dollars at this right. party. I'm like picking up their Kathy Hilton's purse, like looking at it, like just dart in the neck. And then finally, they're like, Whitney, can we help you? Like, what does your purse look like? Just, we'll look. Yeah. And I went, um, it's the one that is Aldo? <laughs> no idea what that was. The store next to Nine West? <laughs> Near Forever. Zara? Anything? <laughs> Forever 22? <laughs> Uh, it's a knockoff brand. Oh, no. Yeah, it's like Birkin, Birkin, Birkin. Birkin, Birkin Here's Birkin. mine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, uh, we got to wrap you up. No, but you also were really quick going to have you decide what color my hair should be. Oh, you want to do that? So, yes, because, I mean, look, you think I'm crazy. Just say it. I think you're a little crazy. Uh, I have, first of all, but I have the exact same hair as you, so I would watch it. <laughs> your, your hair is better. You're a little crazy, but you're pretty. It evens it out. Which is, which is... No, but all my comedian friends clown on me, Spade and Theo and everybody, Tim, for Tim. having a... Tim, okay, let's... Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. like, Tim, Chappelle, yeah. that's wrong. That my hair changes color all the time. So now I just decided for you guys, it's going to be a blank slate, and you guys can decide what my hair should look like to where people wouldn't think I'm crazy. Here we so go. I get you. I'm going to You're gonna give come... her a little hair color. Hold on, don't do that under the table. You'll look insane. <laughs> Show them why you're shaking. Oh, jeez. I picked one. I just grabbed one. Which one? What color is that? Do you care? I mean, I'd like for you to know before Is it you apply like it. just like, uh, you know, What like does it say on paint? it? Uh, it's gold for the Olympics, I thought. Oh. Color. What no, color do you well, want? Well, you tell me. This is red. This is... Rose gold, you don't know the difference. Uh, this is, what do you guys think? Pink, red, danger, if heated. Okay, I don't want that one. Uh, orange? Sure. What do you think? Well, you I mean, decide. I picked gold already. Okay, you didn't pick right. it, you just But got listen, it. so I'm gonna spray where? Just all over your hair? I don't wanna screw everything up. Is it just like the edges? Spade, we're doing a bit. Okay, I'll do whatever. I'm prepared. Whitney, her tickets are on WhitneyCummings.com, her big tour, and I'm gonna start spraying your head. Well, can you, can you, yeah, get it in the front so they can see it. What do I do? How do you not know? Uh, Don't I you? never spray paint heads. So what do you do? You know, I hear that you spray paint all your dolls' hair at home. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Don't close your eyes. Oh, it's cool. Oh, it's freezing. It's too close. We'll be back with more. <laughs> I'm doing the worst job. <laughs>